Live from Bailey Hall on the central campus of Broward College, welcome back to Miss Florida USA 2013, our state championship of pageantry. We are getting ready to stack the risers for the announcement of Top 16. You know what time it is. It is time to get down to the business in the state of Florida. Our first major elimination of this evening has our judges narrowing the field down to the final 16 ladies. It's time to see how your hometown favorites have fared. And remember, all names are read in random order. Ladies, good luck to all of you. Good luck. And here we go. Our first semifinalist is Ashley Conley representing Jacksonville. Our next semifinalist, Damaris Aguiar, representing Carnival, Miami. Our third semifinalist, representing Melbourne, is Jennifer Crocker. Our fourth finalist, Alex Sawyer, representing Naples. Next up, we have Janelle McKee, representing Safety Harbor. Our sixth finalist, representing Broward County Fair, Michelle Aguirre. Next up, representing Alachua County, here is Amanda Hasselvander. Our next finalist, representing Miami Beach, Leilani Barea. Next up, representing Delray Beach, here is Connor Boss. Our 10th semifinalist, representing South Florida, Giannina Acevedo. On we go, representing Miami Gardens, Aja Watkins. Semi-finalist number 12, representing West Broward, Jessica Santiago. Semi-finalist number 13 represents Miami. That would be Christina Stair. Our 14th finalist taking center stage, representing Orlando, Anastasia Pavlenko. And number 15, representing the Florida Keys, Cindy Pereira. And the final contestant to compete for the title of Miss Florida USA 2013 represents Central Florida, Jacqueline Rollerson. Florida, here are your 16 semifinalists all vying for the title and crown of Miss Florida USA 2013. Great selection, judges. This is as tough as it gets here in the Sunshine State. See you. How are we doing, guys? We are Super excited. Top 16. <laughs> so excited. They call me last. I almost, I almost fell over. <laughs> we just go. Welcome back to Miss Florida USA 2013, live from Bailey Concert Hall. The title of Miss Florida USA is on the line as we begin tonight's first phase of competition. If you think a job interview is tough, how about doing it before a live audience and viewers around the world? Luckily, these ladies have a guy like Will to help, put the, help them put their best foot forward. Will, let the competition begin. All the stress is finally over. I didn't question it for a second. I, I'm pretty much speechless and I'm thanking God right now. I'm shocked. <laughs> Grateful. I'm telling you. Because our questions are from the contestants themselves, so the topics are relevant to our delegates' lives. Let's begin right now with contestant number one. That would be Ashley Conley representing Jacksonville. Come on up, Ashley. Dig into the magic bowl and see what we have here. This question actually comes from Marissa Gasper, Miss Vero Beach, and she says, with major budget cuts in arts education, do you feel that arts programs are necessary for a student's personal growth? Well, for their personal reason, um, it's a great way for them to explore their creativity. So I do think it's necessary. I believe everyone has the right to study everything, and if they do get financial aid, it's because they deserve it, because everyone has the chance to study whatever they want. Get rid of the law against gay marriage. I think everyone should be able to marry the person they love, because love makes the world go wrong. I think it's very important that we 
use our resources and recycle and use our towels maybe more than once so we're not washing and washing and washing. I absolutely believe any employer um, should definitely have access to any potential um, person they're hiring, Facebook, any social networking they're putting out there. Yes, I do believe that professional athletes are overpaid. I believe that doctors and surgeons should be paid more than athletes. I would absolutely give it back to the arts. Uh, dance and arts in general or extracurricular activities are something that makes such a, such a huge impact on a young adult's life. I would make a law where high school students will have mandatory volunteer hours in different areas to see if we can promote our youth volunteering in our country and in our state and in their very own city. Easy at first, but of course when you're in the moment, that's when it happens that your mind goes blank. But like I said, breathe in, breathe out, and I think they're all doing good. So. There you go, that's only eight. We have now interviewed half, that's right, eight of the contestants that we have coming up tonight, which means we still have eight semi-finalists remaining there behind me now. And when we come back here, we're going to bring that portion to you. The interviews continue right after this. <laughs> Amber Jackson, Ms. Tallahassee is the one who asked this question. Picture yourself one year from today. What is the one thing you would have liked to accomplish during that time? I hope that I can inspire others, that anything is possible. You can accomplish whatever you set your mind to. And I hope that they can really learn from my story and take that and apply it to their own lives. Hmm. There's so much I would have to say. I would definitely say that I would hope with that publicity they would be getting, I would hope that they would try their best to make volunteerism cool again. Absolutely, there is a correlation. We need to understand that our youth are highly impressionable, and we need to also make sure that we watch what we make sure that we look and pay attention to what they're watching on television. Of course, I would have to say that I would uh, help out my family first and foremost. I am very, very family oriented and they mean a lot to me. You know, I definitely think that starts with the family. I've been so blessed to have such a supportive family. They're here tonight and I definitely would not be the woman that I am standing before you today. Um, a confident, well-rounded individual and I definitely think it needs to start with the family. So definitely, I believe that the mold is already in me and I'm very proud of the way parents raised me. I believe that the hardest thing to give up on is your dream because it's something that you have to chase and it's what makes you who you are. Well, I think we live in a time now where women have more potential than ever to be great leaders. And I think what's unique about women is that we have such giving hearts. Um, and I also think that we think very quick on our feet and are very organizational. And I think now you can see why Miss Florida USA is the pageantry championship of the Sunshine State. Congratulations on a job well done, ladies. Kristen? Everything Miss Florida USA, all you need is a computer. Join the online video revolution with our Miss Florida USA YouTube channel. Now you can go behind the scenes like never before. Watch exclusive videos. Then follow the excitement year round as we tour the state in search of next year's title holders. Join the online video revolution, the Miss Florida USA channel on YouTube.